Hello everybody and welcome to Dan's Armors Tech and today we are discussing the AMD Radeon 7 versus Nvidia's RTX 2080 and the benchmarks of the Radeon 7. So at the current price point you can pick up a 2080 for around about 749 US dollars and Radeon 7 is going to be coming out at 699 dollars so only 50 dollars price difference. However over at Eurogamer, we can see that AMD have tested the Radeon 7 over 25 games and claim at 25% leap in performance over the last generation. Although, these increases are from as low as 7.5% in Hitman 2 and as high as 68.3% in Fallout 76. So, here is the list of 25 games AMD used the Radeon 7 in and based it against their own Vega 64 GPU. And as I said here, you can see that 7.5% increase in Hitman 2 and 68.3% increase in Fallout 76. However, Tom Apisak has also released a picture on Twitter of the Radeon 7 being benchmarked, and as we can see here, the graphics scores. So let's go through them. You've got Fire Strike with a score of 27,400, Fire Strike Extreme at 13,400, Fire Strike Ultra at 6,800, and Time Spy at 8,700. So, jumping on over to video cards, and the Radeon 7 seems to beat the 2080. And for a quick reference here, a factory custom overclock 2080 scores 26,800 points in Fire Strike Performance preset and 6,430 in an Ultra preset. So, the Radeon 7 seems to be the faster in both benchmarks, but this is only graphics scores. So, let's look at Final Fantasy 15 benchmarks. Well, at 1440p standard quality, the Radeon 7 beats a 2070 but fails against a 2080. At 1440p high quality, the Radeon 7 drops 2,685 points below a 2080, 1,379 points below a 2070, and even 309 points lower than a 1070 Ti. However, please do bear in mind that Final Fantasy 15 is an Nvidia title and has exclusive technology only for the RTX series of cards. So then guys, sticking with AMD and I want to have a brief chat about Navi and something Tom Logan, the director of OC3D, posted on the 30th of January. During AMD's quarter 4 earnings call, Lisa Su uttered the words enthusiasts have been waiting for quite some time, Navi launches. Yes, Navi launches. AMD CEO also stated that the gaming growth in 2019 would be driven by the Radeon 7 as well as our Navi launches on the game inside. So, if we have a little look and break down these multiple launches, we know that Xbox and PlayStation 5 are working together with AMD, so we could potentially see the GPUs either revealed or launched at E3. However, we do then expect the desktop line of Polaris to be replaced with Navi, so we could potentially see this at Computex in late May, early June, so a mid -quarter, a two quarter launch. And then obviously the mobile area with the Vega compute being replaced with Navi. So looking a bit further on into this, and there has been rumours that Navi had to be redone because it didn't come out quite the way AMD wanted it to from TSMC. And if we look at a GPU architecture roadmap from previous, it says that Navi scalability and next-gen memory was going to be around about late 2018, early 2019. However, if we look at the updated GPU architecture roadmap, we can see that Navi is going to be roughly 2019, and next gen, so 7 nanometer plus, is going to be around about 2020. So you, I would expect the mid-tier cars to be either revealed or launched at Computex with a sort of halfway through the year launch. And then the high-end desktop GPUs being released either towards the end of 2019 or the beginning of 2020. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for coming along. If you did like the video, then please do give me a thumbs up. Please do hit that subscribe button. Please do click that bell icon for more notifications for myself. And I shall see you all in the next video.